What's up, you wild shrimp? I'm Rob, and let's get on with the questions you guys asked me to answer. Darkest Hour, what cartoons have you watched as a kid? When I was a little kid, a little baby, I remember the classic Blue's Clues, Franklin, Little Bear, that kind of stuff. Nickelodeon, SpongeBob was my favorite, as well as Hey Arnold. I actually still watch those today, so I'm a little kid. What are your genuine thoughts on people with disabilities such as autism and everything? Acknowledge it, accept it, respect it. Respect everyone, that's really plain and simple how I could put it. Nattery, that's funny. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. And let me tell you why, being a huge fan of astronomy and how vast space is, I don't think we're the only living beings. I'm pretty certain there has to be some form of life out there. Whether we're ever gonna see it, that's a different story. Do you ever plan on getting married or starting a family? Yes, I am the type of person that actually looks forward to family, kids, uh, my wife. I do think about that and I do look forward to it. So I want that like family unit to spend my life with. Maybe it's because I'm a Pisces. Do you like your fans? Fuck no. You guys are the best. I'll talk about that later. Do you believe the earth is flat? <laughs> if I believe the earth was flat, that would also make me retarded. Rob is confirmed retarded because there's proof that the earth is flat. Yeah, that's a stupid society of people who are trying to make something out of nothing. What do you like to do in your free time? Fuck bitches and get money. Honestly, uh, quality time, I guess, you know? Uh, movies, I watch movies a lot. But when I have free time, it's normally out of exhaustion from working. Otherwise, if I have free time, I fill it up with work, some sort of editing and some job, you know? A lot of people ask me what games I play and all that stuff. I don't play much. Uh, I only play on my free time, but I enjoy Super Smash Brothers, all of them. Uh, I've always been a fan. I used to go to tournaments all the time. Currently Smite, whenever I have time I log on. I've played Dota ever since, you know, Warcraft 3. But other than that, those are pretty much the main ones. I actually never really show my significant others on camera. I don't know why, that's a different topic. Who or what inspired you to do rants? Ever gonna do Guitar Hero videos again? You know what's funny? People have inspired me to post on YouTube, but nobody's inspired me to do rants. I don't think a single person inspired me to do rants. I think it just came down to I wanted to talk about certain things and I, and I just did that. Guitar videos again? Yes. Depending on how this channel goes, my other channel and my outside job, I do plan on doing Guitar Hero videos and gaming actually again. Which now if you think about it, I was one of the original gamers on this fucking website. And at the time I was like top five most viewed in the category of gaming with my gaming content. William asks, my question for you is what artists, celebrities do you look up to and admire the most? I know you despise many modern mainstream ones, but which ones continue to inspire you? I don't know about mainstream artists. The people who have always been an inspiration of mine have been uh, Albert Einstein, Bruce Lee, and a few others, but as far as artists, I don't think anybody mainstream. I inspire myself. Metallica or Megadeth? Metallica. What is your favorite movie, favorite director, favorite band? I don't really have a favorite band. I listen to a wide range of music. Favorite movie, I don't have a single favorite movie. I have like a top five. Uh, cinematography and directing wise, Birdman takes the cake for me. I love Stanley Kubrick, The Shining, the original Korean old boy. There's a handful of them and I don't have a favorite director either. Hi Rob, you seem to be a very sophisticated person. Why, thank you. What kind of movies do you watch and what's your opinion on all the remakes being made of classic films today? That's a really good question. I'm really sick and tired of remakes, especially with, you know, like superhero movies. I'm just really done with superhero movies. But as far as a genre of film goes, everyone's asked me that too. Um, I don't have a favorite genre. I like all movies, like the ones I did name. As far as remakes go, you know, like, depending on the specific, Remake, if it's really one of those things where it's like, you know, it could be very good coming out today, uh, sure, I'll watch it. Other than that, nothing. The only thing I'm actually probably gonna watch as far as remakes go is the Beauty and the Beast remake, but that's just because I've kind of always been an Emma Watson fan. What kind of music do you listen to? Again, huge question. You guys are like crazy for my playlists. 
Let me pull it up because a bunch of you asked about metal bands and rappers and all that stuff. I love the Beatles. They're timeless for me. I listen to a lot of Buckethead. As far as metal bands, I don't particularly listen to death metal. The genre I like a lot more is symphonic black metal. Some of that might scare you, but very melodic stuff. Orchestra, violin, choir, love all that system of a down. For a long time, I've been listening to them. I listen to a lot of trance. As far as rap goes, a mainstream artist, many of you would say, such as Eminem, I do appreciate Eminem a lot. Uh, and I like his stuff, I listen to his stuff here and there. Almost all the members of the Wu-Tang Clan, especially the Wu-Tang Clan, I love so much. They've written some songs that are my favorite rap songs of all time. But other than that, a lot of classics to Bob Dylan, Frank Sinatra, classical music I enjoy a lot. And honestly, a bunch of miscellaneous, a, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Some outdated music, folk, metal, Norwegian metal, a bunch of crap like that. Let's move on. Tristan asks, I want to know more about your career outside of YouTube. Been following your rants since the early days. Thank you so much. I'm really curious since you seem to be one of the few genuine people left on YouTube. Again, thank you so much. Outside of YouTube, I filmed a lot of individual projects, people having weddings and you know baby showers all around me. I've done video services for that. I've put together montages of like photos, graphical editing, After Effects, things like that. A lot of my videos HuffPost has access to to post on their Facebook. Some topics they like me to do that I'll film and I'll edit. Evan and I recently did a music video. Yeah, doing a, doing a bunch of that as well as marketing and real estate. My mom being a broker, I followed in on real estate and home video marketing tours. All my camera equipment drones, they go to that as well. Who are the worst rappers you've ever heard? You know, I have a list probably and I forget a lot of their names, but who was it? Chief Keef, that fucking loser, terrible. And everyone along the lines of him, pretty much, or that similar style. My opinion on women wearing nose piercings. I don't like it. I don't know, it's, I mean, yeah, it might work, but I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not much of a fan at all. Are you from Russian background? Yes, my dad grew up in St. Petersburg. My mom spent a lot of her days all around Europe. I speak English, obviously. Armenian, I'm fluent in. I understand most of Russian and I can speak some. What are your best moments in school ranging from elementary school to college, university? College sucks, a joke. I don't really care about college, elementary, middle school, whatever. But senior year of high school was the funnest time of my life. If I could go back for a week and relive those moments, I would. But along with a lot of other questions about that, I was doing Rob's Rants in high school every Friday along with sketch comedy. I won Class Clown and the popularity was, was cool. I do admit it was fun. The attention became a little too much at one point, but we were all family, all my friends. My teachers especially were the greatest. I still keep in touch with them. I could not have asked for a better senior year in high school. What do I look for in a significant other? You know, brains, smarts, goes a long way for me. Caring and loyalty. I think those are pretty on point. The weird habits I have. What I do is sometimes I sneak under the dressing rooms of certain clothing departments and I like to take snapshots of old ladies taking off their clothes. No, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know if I have a weird habit. I guess one of my weird habits would be if I'm in my room editing something, I'll always have the TV on no matter what it is. Um, I'll always have movies playing in the background. I think because the background noise for some odd reason helps me work. I don't know, maybe it's the silence I can't really deal with, but I guess that's a weird habit. What made you want to start filming? Long time fan, I appreciate that. And to be honest, I don't know. I picked up my first camera when I was like six with the old tapes, you know? Um, I just filmed stupid things around my house. I just loved it. Ever since then, I just kept doing it. So really just grew from there. When did you lose your virginity and what was it like? That's a, that's a pretty personal question. Um, I'll say this, it, it didn't happen while I was in like a relationship, like a serious one. I feel like at that time, girls didn't really respect themselves enough, but it was cool, it wasn't that great. I rather had it been 
less of a deal than such a big deal where, you know, some people regret about it later. But that's that. And a lot of people ask me about my favorite YouTubers and who I watch. Um, Philip DeFranco, I watch Philip DeFranco. I watch Boogie. Other than their consistent videos, that's actually about it. There's probably some I'm forgetting, but other than that, I can't really think of any. But thank you so much for all the loving comments and all the flattering comments. You guys are the absolute best. Stay tuned for a rant. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to hit this like. Tomorrow it is.